We need to modify the front of the transmission to accept the hydraulic clutch slave cylinder. Um, first thing we need to do is remove um, this retainer here. All right, so now we're going to pull the retainer off. Um, the instructions say to make sure that the input shaft, that you keep that in because otherwise you will lose the bearings. So the retainer here came off um, along with the race and there's two shims that we need to put back in. So the race, the two shims will go into this piece here, which is the new uh, retainer that will fit onto the front of the transmission. And then that's the, uh, that's the bearing, those are the bearings there. So we need to clean up all these gasket surfaces and put it back. So now we need to reassemble the shims and the race um, that was on the old retainer into the new retainer. And then, yeah, make sure that's clean. And then set that race down in there. Oh, you're upside down. Huh? There you go. All right. So now I'll have to put some sealer around the edge of this thing around here, and then we can bolt it back up. All right, so we got our gasket sealer on the back here. We got our bearing race put in there along with the shims. Um, so now we're going to put this on. It needs to go with this. This is a hole for um, our passageway for lubrication through this hole. So the pin and everything's got to go. The bolts are torqued down to about 16 foot pounds. And just do those in an X pattern, James. We took the engine off the engine stand. Our next step is we need to put the pressure plate and the clutch on uh, because we need to take some dimensions for some spacers that we need to assemble into the whole thing. We can't do that without everything assembled. Make sure you clean off the flywheel and the pressure plate uh, with some brake clean and a lint free towel, of course. Make sure you don't have any oil on that. Alright, so we're going to put the clutch on. So James, take the uh, pilot tool. I'll stick it in the end there. Okay. Alright, you're going to have to move your hands there for a second. While I hold the pilot tool in, James is going to start tightening up the pressure plate. a little bit each bolt and a start pad. So the pressure plate bolts are torqued down to 35 foot pounds. We'll do it in two stages. That's good. Already clicked. So next step is to get the bell housing on. And again we clean the surfaces real well. We're torquing them down to 42 foot pounds. For instructions, we need to measure from the mounting surface of the transmission back to the clutch fingers. And that is going to be 2.880. So the next measurement we have to take is with the uh, hydraulic throwout bearing fully compressed against the transmission and what that what the gap is or the space to the to the front of the bearing that's going to be on the fingers of the clutch. So go ahead, James, and compress the gas. Okay, got it flat there. I need to get in here. Thank you. Okay, and we are, what were we? We're 2.402. So here's the bearing without the spacer. And then here's what the spacer looks like. Just a spacer that came from Silver Sport also. So you take the bearing off, put the spacer. 
put it on, and that's a quarter inch thick. And put the bearing right back onto it. And that'll give us the dimension that we need. Just to take the bell housing, and we took it off the engine and mount it to and the we need to Take the hydraulic line and tighten it into the throwout bearing. So we're putting the bell housing back on with the throwout bearing in place with the line, and then we'll put the trans on. Alright, motor's in. With the motor in and the trans, now we can kind of finish the install of the hydraulic clutch. Uh, this is the braided steel line that comes from the um, from the transmission, or actually the throwout bearing. Comes up here, and this is the the master cylinder, so it's bolted on here. So we're gonna bleed the bleed the hydraulic clutch now. So we have the clutch reservoir full and James is underneath by the bleeder screw and we're just trying to get a steady stream coming out and then we'll do the pressure glue. So we got the motor in, uh, the hydraulic clutch is all in, um, pretty much like bleeding a set of brakes so it wasn't too bad. Um, feels okay, guess we'll know, <laughs> guess we'll know how the clutch works once we get it running.